Hi, this is Yuna, and well, this is finally 2016 where I feel um, the most stable and well comparing to when I was first diagnosed with schizophrenia in 2004. So, um, well, I'm recording this with my Facebook friends in mind, and um, I'm thinking of them as the audience for this video to start myself off on vlogging. Um, I was inspired by my Facebook friend Chris Williamson and well he started vlogging lately and I thought well I better stop being camera shy. Um, I'm planning to become a writing therapy trainer or well therapeutic writing teacher. I'm still struggling with the labels and titles but Basically, I want to help people with writing therapy and I'm training myself through some online courses and one night class which will be face-to-face -face, um, with Fei Yue Community Services, um, their, their school branch which is called the Academy of Human Development and the certification will be in practical counselling. It will be a night class for around three months at starting from the end of January to um, around mid-April, I think. And yes, I am going to be doing workshops and probably doing up some e-courses maybe from June or July onwards, whenever my training ends and, you know, the preparation is done. Uh, so... I've been joining the Facebook groups which um, are based on, well, not based on, well, they focus on the topic of mental health and especially schizophrenia. I no longer hear voices, I don't see any more hallucinations, and, well, delusions, well, most of my delusions are gone. Um, I guess I'm feeling more like myself before I got schizophrenia so some days I don't even remember I have a condition you know with about schizophrenia well mm, that goes my English sorry I speak Chinese daily at home with my parents where well, I live with them so uh, my English suffers a bit but anyways writing therapy will be a career I am looking forward to and I am still looking for a job maybe in the office doing administrative work um, I already got an appointment with um, IMH the psychiatric hospital which has a job club so they have employers in their database who are willing to hire people with schizophrenia or you know any kind of mental health problems um, I had a recent job that I just quit a few days ago because um, it was too tedious for me in a sense. I wasn't very tired. Um, my whole physical body was alright except my hands which, well, I was doing mopping of lift lobbies for an office tower from the 32nd floor to the 4th floor. And I think around 4th or 3rd floor to the 1st floor is supposed to be the mall, which is attached to the office tower. I was supposed to mop the lift lobbies of the worker lift um, from 32nd floor to the 4th floor in like 4.5 hours, uh, minus 15 minutes for a tea break. So, like, I was doing it for maybe 10 days of work and my hands couldn't handle it anymore you know when I was taking the bus I I was holding the metal pole and I was like my god my hands really hurt and they were fine I, I found difficulty trying to close my hands into fists into a fist and I was thinking no I want to do writing you know and I'm an indie author since 2010 but well doesn't mean I sell a lot of books but I like writing. I like writing with pen and pencil on paper and I like you know to type out my thoughts and all that on my laptop 
So I was thinking, oh my god, my hands are gone. And when I wake up every morning after that, I was feeling like my hands were numb and they were hurting and numb. Like I could hardly move them or, you know, just feel pins and needles in them. So I was like, no, I'm not going to screw up my hands for the rest of my life just in case I, I sustain any more um, severe more severe injuries to it you know and one of my Facebook friends um, told me maybe you you have carpal tunnel syndrome and I'm like isn't that for like people who type a lot and she said like no it can happen to anyone uh, who has you know um, strained their hands so, um, yeah, I, I don't want to have further injuries so I quit the job. It wasn't exactly very, uh, it wasn't exactly a very difficult job and it wasn't as if I couldn't really do it, but I didn't want to live with um, hands that couldn't handle carrying things anymore without having some sort of sharp pain you know, um, yeah, I, I, with schizophrenia and some other ailments, I don't want to add permanent carpal tunnel syndrome to my list of medical problems. Mm. So right now, I'm anxious, I'm nervous, I'm trying to look for a job, you know, and well, another friend of mine, he said, well, you know, writers... A lot of them have day jobs and they write as a hobby because truthfully speaking in the publishing um, industry whether it's traditionally published authors or self-published authors a lot of the time um, books don't sell well and well there are a lot of best-selling authors out there whether they are indie authors or traditionally published authors but the thing is books are like products well that books are products and you cannot expect them to be selling at a certain quota daily or monthly or yearly because business sometimes doesn't work that way even with shop fronts you know that the daily sales will be different and that is no 100% where your products and services are going to be sold daily and sometimes for businesses or a lot of times for many businesses they break even after a few years so um well someone's calling me so sorry here i'll, I'll try and record another time bye for now